I said I was going to do some mowing, and I am. I've got my scythe right here, uh, Austrian trimming scythe. It's really nice, real light. I, I don't cut those uh, milkweed. My wife, Jane, especially, is very fond of monarch butterflies, um, and because of the connection, she, you know, I, I don't cut them. I don't know if I would. What I'm really here to do is mow this burdock. I have mowed it before, I mean, this year. Uh, and I don't I, I I like the fact that it's covering the ground But I don't like it to go to seed because the burrs are problematic But I, I would like to have it spread out which it seems like it can do now this There's other Plants that most people consider weeds that I'm not gonna mow. I, I'm basically in principle something like that vervain there Well, it's in the path of the, the truck that comes back through here, but if there's nothing else that would be growing there I figure what's the harm? Uh, so I, I just tend to leave it alone a lot of it Well, it's about an hour later might might be more and you can see some of that I'm bypassing this, but some of these ditches are catching the water anyway, which is fine. I, I, it's great actually But uh, and that one for example is But what I wanted to do I'll follow it down here As I said, I think before the ground here is so Well, there's just no soil. It's just stone really but uh, I Diverted it there a little bit so I'm just so it's in one channel instead of two going down across here. What the effects this sum is that my son doesn't like a general wetness. He 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 thinks in terms of m mowing and but anyway, uh, I'm I'm doing this in any case because I I, I this is just a conveyance. To get the water down here to this area which is what I want to have you witness my developing it but I'm gonna give it a little bit more time and I'm gonna get the size and do some mowing while I wait there's a thistle a bull thistle I'm not too friendly toward bull thistles I usually mow them off but you can see uh, where as I mow this burdock uh, it doesn't kill it. It becomes ground cover. Burdock is ground cover. And I know it has some uses that people can eat the root and stuff, which is fine. But the pigs don't control it by themselves. And this area right here, it's dominated it for a lot of years, and I, I want to have access to it. Now, a plant like that one up there, I think it's a Joe Pie weed. Uh, I'll probably just leave it there. Well, you know, what's the harm? Oh, and back there, I'll I'll film it when I walk back. Uh, oh, here's some. I think this is gill over the ground, or gill over the rocks. I believe that's what that's called. And I don't remember last year where the pigs are. I don't remember that there was so much of it. It's never really a problem, because it's low. One of the problems with vervain, I mean, I like it fine, but if it's not mowed at all, it leaves a stem through the winter, and and that stem then, it, the, the scythe isn't going to cut through that very well. Oh, I was going to say too about the bull thistle. Uh, when I first came here, it was all over the place here. Of course, I, nothing was irrigated then. I had to cut it ev everywhere to try to get it back under control. But it's under control now. And that down there, I think, is a mullen. I don't know how you pronounce it. I usually let them grow because they're such curious looking things. Okay, now I have a little something to work with. It'll get stronger as I go. Now, the main drain has found that culvert. It was a huge, huge problem over the last couple of years in that that got blocked. And I didn't have the time or the strength or the health or whatever to find where it was. And so, so drainage that was coming off the lane was going out and it was making that whole entryway into the barn 
smeary swampy wet well not swampy really but wet smeary wet and made a lot of problems in, in loading uh, pigs when I had to ship them so now uh, I'm not only going to fix that I'm going to see if I can't garden this it's one of these impossible situations so I'll start and we'll see where it goes I'm going to start by diverting it right probably there and uh, watch it teach me what to do on the way down now I've said this before probably many times that this soil is just like cement when it's dry but really sometimes just in a few minutes after being uh, soaked in water it'll soften up uh, and so now I have a water supply it's going to give me level that certainly isn't level there but by the time we probably right there I'll already start maybe a, a contour ditch Maybe it'd be worth it to step back and try to get a little more general look at this, although with this narrow field of vision and with this camera it's hard to tell. But as you can see, uh, by keeping certain the ditches level, they're snaking around. Uh, that, that second one down certainly isn't level, but some of this ground is so hard, and I think that uh, where it's so hard that it won't even soften up with the water, I think there might have been a, a road or a path or something going through here. I expect that strongly right here because of that hump. That's going to show up extremely once I get down there with the ditches. In the meantime, I've been sorting this lumber out uh, because I intend to terrace that as well. I'm almost through here. And then I'll, I'll bring the pickup tomorrow probably. And, and haul that to some other spot. There's slats, there's sort of like two, they're stringers is what they are. Uh, they're like one and a half by four. Some very, very thin stuff. That is dunnage, uh, and the, uh, the groove in them is for the steel strap to go when they strap down a load. 